Module 4, Lesson 21, we're going to practice writing and evaluating expressions in which we have multiplication and addition together. So in exercise 1, the Italian Villa restaurant has square tables the servers can push together to accommodate the customers. Only one chair fits along the side of the square table, as you can see. We make a model of each situation to determine how many seats will fit around various rectangular tables. So a model has been given for us to show, first of all, one. If there's one square table, there are four seats at the table. If there are two, please notice, one, two, three, four, five, six. There will be six people at the table, not eight. It doesn't double when you push them together. If there are three, there would be eight. If there are four, there would be ten. And if there are five, there would be 12 seats at the table. Now, if we extend that, something that we ought to notice about it, first of all, is that the number of tables would be the number of seats on the long side. So when there are five tables, there are five seats on the long side times two, because the, there are two long sides. So we're doing, and I'm jumping right down to the expression here, 2t, twice the number of tables, plus two more for the n seats, n seat, n seat. And that is the case in every one of these examples. So if I have one table, I have 2 times 1 for these long sides, plus 2 more, which is 4. If I have two tables, I have 2 times 2, because my long side is 2 each, plus 2 more, which is 6. When I have three tables, my long side is 3, seats long. 2 times 3, remember, 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 2 more, which is 8. Let's look at it again with 4 tables. We have 4 seats on the long side. So 2 times 4 is 8, plus the 2 on either side is 10. So now we can extend it. If there are 50 tables, there would be 50 times 2, which is 100, plus 2 more, which is 102. And if there are 200 tables, it would be 200 times 2, which is 400, plus 2 more. Now there may be other ways to think about solutions to this problem, but it's impractical to make a model of pushing 50 tables together to make a long rectangle. If we did have a rectangle that long, how many chairs would fit on the long sides of the tables? Well, we've determined that that would be 50. Fifty seats on the long sides. The chairs on the ends of the long table would be two chairs on the ends. And how many chairs fit in all? And that would be 102. and we completed the other parts of that table as well. So let's look at example two then. 
we need to determine the cost of various numbers of pizzas and also determine the expression that describes the cost of having P pizzas delivered. So Pizza Queen has a special offer on lunch pizzas. They are $4 each. They charge $2 to deliver regardless of how many pizzas are ordered. So we need to determine the cost of various numbers of pizzas and also determine the expression that describes the cost of having P pizzas delivered. If one pizza is delivered, that's $4 for the pizza, $2 for the delivery, that would cost $6. If two pizzas are delivered, that's $4 times each pizza, which is eight, plus two more for delivery, that's $10. If three are delivered, that's 12 for the pizzas plus two more for delivery. If four are delivered, that's 16 plus two more is $18. If 10 are delivered, that's 40 for the pizzas plus two more for delivery. And if 50 are delivered, 50 times four is 200 plus $2 more for delivery. So our expression then is $4 times the number of pizzas plus $2 for the delivery. The mathematical operations we used were multiplication and addition. Suppose our principal wanted to buy a pizza for everyone in our class. You'll need to determine how much that would cost. I'll give an example. If we had 15 people in our class, we would multiply 4 times 15 plus 2 more, and that would cost $62. If the Booster Club had $400 to spend on pizza, what is the greatest number of pizzas they could order? So what we need to do then, cost in dollars, is to um, guess and check or to work backwards. Um, so hopefully you can see the delivery it would be $2, even for 400 pizzas, imagine that. So they have $398 to spend on the pizza, and if they're each $4, we could divide that by 4, and we would have 99 with some remainder. but we can't buy part of a pizza, we have to buy a whole pizza. So the greatest number of pizzas that we could order would be 99, and we'd have a little bit of money left over. If the pizza price was raised to $5, and the delivery price was raised to $3, let's create a table that shows the total cost now. So if there's one, it would be five plus three, which is eight. For two, would be 10 plus 3, which is 13. For 3, would be 15 plus 3, which is 18. For 4, would be 20 plus 3, which is 23. For 5, would be 25 plus 3, which is 28. And our expression, $5 times P plus $3 for delivery. Complete the problem set in the same way.